In the meantime, the Nigerian Senate has advanced a bill to its second reading that seeks to amend the Free Universal Basic Education UBEC Act to include penalties for parents who deny their children basic education. The bill titled the Bill for an Act to Amend the Compulsory Free Basic Universal Basic Education Act, CAP No. 4, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, and for other related matters connected therewith, 2024, SB 259 is sponsored by Senator Adebule Idiad, representing Lagos West. In her lead debate, Senator Idiad expressed concern over the rising number of out-of-school children in Nigeria. She urged the imposing fine of a fine of 250,000 naira on parents who fail to enroll their children in school would act as a deterrent and help address the issue. However, we have witnessed a progressive surge in the quantum of school children, of out of school children, due to various reasons, some of which are redeemable through amending the enabling laws. Against this background, this bill seeks to amend the UBEC Act 2024 to rejuvenate the objectives of the Act and reinforce the urgent need for the full implementation of the free, compulsory, and quantitative basic education for, Nigeria, for children in Nigeria. Supporting the bill, Senator Ahmed Lawan of Yobe North and Senator Adamu Alero of Kebi Central emphasized that education is a fundamental right of every child and highlighted the developmental challenges posed by the high number of out-of-school children. They called for stricter oversight of the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, to ensure the effective implementation of educational policies. I believe that this third Senate should pursue this particular developmental challenge with utmost vigor and commitment because it undermines not only our social development but our economic development and of course adverse effects on the security of our country. Those who are not able to go to school, Mr. President and his colleagues, will find their ways to the Boko Haram enclaves, to the bandits, to the militants, and so on and so forth. So I, I believe that we have every reason to devote sufficient or reasonable, significant resources to the development of our basic education. Senate President Gats Willapabio also voiced his support for the bill, agreeing that parents who deny their children access to education should face sanctions. He stressed the importance of ensuring that all children have the opportunity to attend school. Yes, indeed. There must be a bit of uh, sanction for any parent or guardian that has a child of school age and does not allow that child to go to school to obtain basic education. I had the opportunity to uh, sign a bill into a law when I was a governor on free and compulsory uh, basic education from primary to senior secondary school level and uh, we also enshrined provisions that carried out to six months imprisonment for any parent or guardian that has a child of school age and sends that child to go and hawk or to go to the farm during school days and so we, we also had enforcers with a set up a, a senior special assistance that went around the states to go around to check if any child was on the street or if any child was in a mechanic workshop of school age and was not in school and those that were hawking or doing menial jobs and then we arrested them and then from there we traced the guardians and traced the parents and of course they paid penalties and some of them also had different levels of so we must find a way to embellish within the act itself when eventually signed 